Thanks for checking them. Soon. Check it out now, niggas. Now I keep telling y'all, man, niggas, man, niggas just don't know how to act. Okay, not only that, niggas love snitching on themselves, man. And hit the crazy thing about it, niggas snitch on themselves and claim you snitched on them. All right. Now here's the thing. All right, basically, man, I don't know why these rich niggas, these rich celebrities, these guys who made money the legal way are so obsessed with trying to go back to where everybody's getting it illegal, okay? Everybody want to be rich, successful, go to Hollywood, then still want to be accepted by the hood. Shit just don't work, okay? Listen, you can't be a rich, legit street nigga. Doesn't work that way, okay? So when I see these rappers claiming they going back to their hood and they hold their hood down and, and they hood still respect them and they still legit in the streets, I be thinking, these niggas fucking stupid, ain't they? Now, listen. I don't know why Fetty Wap stayed in his, his hometown like that. Of course, I know he has a lot of love for Patterson. Patterson got a lot of love for him. But listen, man, you can't be in the hood, okay? The hood don't fuck with you no more. You're a rich rapper. The hood do not fuck with you no more, okay? Regardless of the fact, he has a lot of beef in his goddamn hood or whatever it's called, okay? Niggas who didn't like him before he got famous, now he got famous and he's stunting in his Rari. They really don't like his motherfucking ass, okay? So you can imagine what would happen when Fetty Wap is all in his hometown and whatever in his hood and blah, blah, blah. Listen, basically, somebody tried taking his chain. Now, to make a long story short, basically, man... There's some niggas Fetty Wap ain't like from back then. They made a song even with like P. Dice, who was a former member of Fetty Wap's crew. Basically, somehow an incident occurred at some deli. They grabbed his chain. I'm not sure if they snatched it or maybe did a shot glizzy. It hopped off his neck, fell to the ground. They just happened to pick it up with a scrimmage. Broke boys had a scrimmage. Maybe. Regardless of the case, shots were fired. Three people got shot. And, of course, those three people lived, okay? They went to the hospital. They survived. Uh, police did not confirm that Fetty Wap was shot, so, so pretty much he wasn't shot, okay? Now, here's the thing about that. Because immediately, you know when you snatch a rapper's chain, you got to do? You got to incriminate yourself, okay? You got to tell the people how you did it. You got to show the chain. You got to show the proof off. One of these guys actually put the chain around his neck, took a couple of Instagram pictures, threw it up online. Everybody was sending it to me. Also, every goon in Patterson has a picture with this chain. Apparently, the chain is on tour in Patterson, New Jersey. He's going on a hood to hood, greasy neck to greasy neck tour. Okay? Now, because of that, they, they might be thinking it's kind of gaining like clout points or whatever, bragging points they are trying to get. But it's actually telling the police, like, oh, yeah, remember, like, that incident that happened last night in, in which shots were fired and a chain was took? Yeah, I got the chain. Come get me, okay? You know what the police did? The police saw who had the chain on and went and arrested the nigga, okay? So he's locked up, and it's very sad and unfortunate. This is not a joke on either side. Why is Fetty back in his hood, okay? They don't like you, nigga, okay? On the other side, why are y'all posing with a chain on motherfucking line if this is some keep it in the streets type of thing? You guys are all fucking this shit up. So the guy who posed with the chain that was taken from Fetty Wap, he's locked up. Fetty Wap is chainless. He probably gonna have to cop a new chain acting like he ain't get his chain taken. And then three other people got shot. Did anybody catch a W? That's what I'm gonna say. Did anybody catch a W? No. But of course, this is all petty beef that probably escalated and spilled over to, to this point. Now, people are going to get so mad, now they're going to want to kill people and do all type of stuff. Because that's the keep it in the streets mentality. Regardless, I'm just here to say, this entire fucking incident is dumb. Okay? Dumb. Okay? I hope Fetty Wap doesn't use some dumb rapper pride ego to go do some dumb shit. Right? I hope the other people involved don't start incriminating themselves even more. And I hope everybody just lets this shit go and move the fuck on. Why can't we all do that? And by the way, somebody else wants to get his two-piece in, somebody named Muscle Team Fuzz. He said, listen, just to set the record straight, I personally did not take Fetty Wap chain. I'm not responsible for no one else's action but my own. I don't have a personal problem with Fetty Wap. He's just a good kid in the way. How he get his chain taken, I don't know. I don't care. That's none of my business. Did I take the picture? Yes. The whole down the hill got a picture with it on. Now enjoy the rest of y'all night. I would love to take credit for it, but unfortunately, my IG is no liar. But of course, it's hip-hop. The coonery always goes on, okay? Get a comment box, you guys like them, subscribe to more Academics. I'm out.